Dr. Latif, do you want to start us off? Or uh... Uh, No, well, you know, that's fine. Yeah, I guess I should be starting us off. Well, welcome, everyone. This is the... Um, the meeting to hear from the public and to discuss the process by which we're going to name the 13th high school. So I want to thank everyone who signed up in advance to, to speak. I want to thank all the folks who emailed us in advance. And I want to thank um, all the staff for working so hard on this. The, this meeting will be set up such that Mr. Beavers will give us a, uh, a slide presentation on the process. And then we'll hear from our um, folks who registered to speak in advance. And then we'll have some comments by the board members at the end. Mr. Beavers, take it from there. Very good. Thank you, Dr. Latif. Uh, good evening. My name is Dave Beavers. I'm with the Office of Facility Services. I have the pleasure of facilitating the school naming uh, process for the naming committee. I'm joined tonight by the 13th High School Naming Committee. The committee is composed of the chairman at large, Dr. Latif, uh, as well as Adele Jackson from the Brentsville District and Jennifer Wall from the Gainesville District. We're here tonight to start the process of giving a name to our 13th high school. And let me see if I can get our presentation going here. All right, so um, here we are. And then um, now, the um, the process we have for naming the, uh, the, the a school facility is uh, guided by school board policy 854. Uh, this provides for the creation of a naming committee to develop recommendations uh, for school facilities. Uh, and it's important to note that the school board uh, as a whole is responsible for naming school facilities. So the committee basically is a subset of the school board that will provide recommendations to the entire school board. All right, regulation 854-1 uh, gives us the details on naming a school facility. It tells us that the naming committee will be composed of the chairman at large, uh, the school board member whose uh, district the unnamed facility is located in. And in that case, this is located in the Brentsville district. So Ms. Jackson is our representative. And then any school board member whose district boundaries overlap the attendance area for the unnamed school. In this case, the 13th high school boundaries have been set and they overlap the Gainesville magisterial district. So Mrs. Wall is part of the committee. All right, the criteria is given to us in, uh, in the regulation, 854-1, and it tells us that the committee should consider um, identifiable geographic uh, areas, historical items, uh, names of living or deceased persons who've made significant service contributions. Please note that the selection preference will be given to those individuals who've made significant contributions to the field of education, especially within Prince William County. So our process is as follows. Uh, tonight we have our community input session where we'll gather input from the public. Then the naming committee will receive additional input on May 20th at the school board meeting where there'll be a presentation for information. And on June 10th, they will receive uh, an item for action to name the school. Uh, the, the public has the opportunity to comment and provide additional information to the school board at either of those uh, school board meetings during citizens comment time. As well, in, as well as providing direct email to both the planning office and uh, to the school board members. Uh, and uh, just wanna highlight again that the final selection of the name is the responsibility of the school board. All right, just for a little background here, we see uh, on the left, we see an illustration of what the 13th high school will look like when it's completed. And then over on the right hand side, uh, we see uh, the construction uh, status of the 13th high school. It's well underway and is making excellent progress. And then below uh, that, we see a picture that was actually from the corner of the Gainesville Middle School property. So um, 
uh, everything's going well. The school will be completed on time and uh, will be ready for students. All right, that uh, completes uh, the, the presentation that I'll be giving tonight. Uh, we have two speakers who've signed up in advance to speak. Uh, they'll be allotted three minutes each and uh, we'll call on them. Now, when you're called upon, your microphone uh, will be enabled. You'll be unmuted by our uh, technical staff and uh, you'll have your chance to make your statements. Um, if you'd like to provide additional feedback, you can email us at planning at pwcs.edu. Uh, if you'd like to do that by uh, the, the 19th of May, that would be fantastic. All right, so uh, at this time, uh, we're ready for our first uh, community speaker. Um, our first speaker, our first yeah. speaker is uh, Jesse Lightfoot. You have been unmuted. Go ahead and uh, speak. Okay, we'll give her just a second to come in. Um, why don't we go to our next speaker that we had cited for right now, and we'll come right back to her. Uh, next speaker we had is Jeffrey Solace. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm showing he doesn't, he may not have a microphone even. Yeah, I see him connected, but he is not uh, not going to be able to communicate. All right, let's go back to Miss Lightfoot just a second. Okay, Miss Lightfoot, your microphone is open. Go ahead. You'll unmute yourself and then you can speak. Can you hear me? Yes. yes we can. Hi, sorry, it, it's not captioned, so bear with me. Um, I'm hard of hearing. Is this the part where we talk about our name suggestion? Yes, it is. Okay, um, my suggestion was actually that Helen Keller, um, kind of that name, just because we don't have a history of um, recognizing people with disability. And this uh, woman actually, she overcame so much obstacles to back in her time, not only were women considered, you know, not able to accomplish much, but she was also deaf and blind. And regardless of what people were telling her, she still accomplished many, many great things. And I think that's a good lesson for kids that no matter what the obstacles are, regardless of your, your race, your gender, your disability, and no matter what people say that you can't do, you can do as long as you put your mind to it. So I think it's just a good um, role model kind of to look at just because she overcame so many obstacles in so many different types of uh, barriers that she had. And she's been recognized by a lot of famous people. And that, that was just my idea of a good name for the school. Very good, thank you. We appreciate your comments. Is uh, Mr. Soleil's uh, any op any chance that he'll be uh, able to join us? It doesn't look like it. I don't think he has an active microphone on his computer. I'm not getting the icon. Okay. All right. Well, that uh, that completes then the um, the opportunity for folks who have signed up in advance to. Uh, address the naming committee. So thank you all very much. Um, uh, I would like to highlight that um, you can submit your uh, suggestions and justifications online to planning at pwcs.edu. We've actually already received uh, submissions from 22 folks 
and uh, we have quite a few names that they've suggested. So uh, uh, thank you all for your input. Um, so please, if, you, if you'd like to offer your suggestions, please uh, email them in, that'd be fantastic. Um, that concludes the, uh, David, the session. Yes, Dr. Latif. Um, can you tell us some of the names of the ones that were recommended out of those 20? Could you read off some of those? Uh, I sure can. Um, if I think bear folks with... would really need to hear what other folks have sent in so far. That'd be nice to know. Yeah. Um, by far, so so far, uh, the most popular was Beavers Elementary. I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Um, no, the most popular so far has been Gainesville High School. Uh, we have a suggestion for Lillian Orlick High School, the uh, guidance counselor at uh, Osborne Park High School for many, many years. Uh, Officer Ashley Gwinden, who was our uh, uh, Prince William County police officer who uh, was uh, uh, gave her life in service to the police department. Uh, Helen Keller, uh, Bull Run High School, Old Dominion High School, the Piedmont High School, uh, a suggestion for Cannon-Scott High School, which uh, I believe was a uh, reference to two uh, Civil War generals. Uh, I, I believe they were on the Union side. Uh, I think the, the Scott was Winfield Scott. Um, I can't remember what the canon part was. Uh, Paul Ebert High School, the former Commonwealth's attorney, long-serving. Uh, Joyce Russell Terrell, uh, Sheriff Glendale Hill High School, George Peabody High School, Asbury High School, which is, uh, uh, there was Asbury Methodist Church over in Noakesville. And uh, so uh, that was... Uh, that was a suggestion. Bristow High School. Uh, this was a rather creative one. Pavani High School, uh, created by PA representing Pennsylvania, VA for Virginia, and NY for New York to indicate the three states where a majority of uh, folks from 9 11 had uh, uh, lost their lives. So, uh, Pavani. Uh, James Monroe, uh, president from Virginia. Uh, Horace Mann, uh, not a local name, but uh, a gentleman who has uh, very significant historical ties to education. Uh, Annie Snyder, who was uh, a, a stalwart in uh, the preservation of the, the battlefield and uh, lands around the battlefield. So uh, it, interesting uh, suggestion there. Uh, and then we get uh, T.B. Gaines, who uh, Gainesville is evidently named after. He was uh, instrumental in the, the 1830s in securing a, uh, a railroad stop uh, in Gainesville. So that's, uh, the town was named after him. Uh, then uh, Gainesville was, at that time was also referred to as Middle Grounds. So that was the other suggestion, middle grounds. So uh, that, that concludes, I think it's 21 different, uh, 20 different suggested names at this point. Uh, we're happy to take any more uh, that folks have. And if you'd like to uh, uh, voice your support for any of the names that uh, we've already named, uh, that's more than welcome as well. So uh, any questions about the names? No, I think we'll um, thank you for that, David. That's that's fantastic, and um, I think the the pictures of the high school are very exciting to see the construction. I thank you for putting those up. I think in the midst of this COVID nineteen sort of scenario, it's really nice to see that we're still going to do bricks and mortar, and uh, and we're going to have a high school. Um, it'll be opening in twenty twenty one, correct? Fall yes, sir. Not this fall. Fall of twenty twenty one. Yes. Okay, Ms. Jackson. Hi, thank you for um, also showing the pictures today, Mr. Beavers. I really appreciate it. And thank you um, to all those who have emailed us and for the two speakers um, that we're gonna speak today. I hope that the speaker who wasn't able to will email us 
I look forward to receiving additional emails and working with the committee and the rest of the school board and the co uh, community as a whole to come up with a, I know we're gonna come up with a great name for this wonderful high school. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Ms. Jackson. Ms. Wall? Yes, I uh, also want to thank um, organizers of the meeting, uh, members of the public for reaching out and um, everybody else who's been involved in this process so far. Um, the planning committee and everybody else. Um, it's great to have a new school. It's always exciting. I know a lot of people are really looking forward to it um, in the Gainesville district because um, Battlefield is a great school, but it's also very crowded. So it is something that is eagerly anticipated. Um, so, you know, as much as I love calling it the 13th, <laughs> um, probably good to give it a true name. <laughs> and um, so that, that's gonna be an exciting process. So I appreciate the input from the public so far. Um, a lot of great creative names and good names, historical, geographical, biographical. Um, and um, so it gives us a lot to work with. So if there are other additional ideas or I, I echo the sentiment, if there's a, a name that you particularly like that's already been mentioned, that's great too. Um, would like to you know, hear, have the community's input on it. So thank you very much. Well, thank you both. And I know this 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 high school will will serve the students in both of your districts. And um, it's going to be an exciting high school. The, the construction looks great. Uh, the effort and time that the school board has put into sort of the, the planning for this in the administration is exciting. So I look forward to it. The naming part of it's going to be a lot of fun. I think we're going to do this with a lot of collaboration. And, wow. uh, and please, for the public who are watching, Email us. You can email the school board members directly as well through the, the school website. You can email um, David Beavers at, at, the, um, at the site he talked about. Um, and we are happy to hear your, um, your um, suggestions. And we're looking very forward to this. The, I think, David, if you want to just, I, did you, you might have mentioned in the slide, but go ahead and just uh, remind everyone what the process will be next, the 20th and the 27th, how that works out. Certainly. Um, so our next step will be presenting uh, the the recommendation of the uh, uh, name to the school board on May 20th at the at the meeting, and that'll be a, a, a virtual electronic meeting. Everybody can watch that uh, through PWCS TV and through registering for the uh, go to web uh, go to webinar session. Um, after that, the school board will take up the item on June 10th, their final school board meeting of the year. And at that time, the naming committee will provide a recommendation to the entire school board and there will be action on that name that night. So that's our plan and that'll get us to a, a full real name for the 13th high school as much as we do like the 13th high school. <laughs> and, then, and then David, the... Um, just to, to let the public know, we're only responsible for naming the high school. The principal and the community will pick the mascot. Is that correct? That is exactly right. Uh, we'll the we'll pick the no say in the mascot. <laughs> <laughs> Unless but, it's Beaver's High School, then it'll be an obvious choice for mascot. <laughs> well, listen, again, for the public, if, please reach out to us. Let us know. We want this to be a collaboration. We want to hear from the community on this. We're so excited to have the opportunity to do this. There aren't that many districts building new high schools around the country. Um, we feel very fortunate to do this. We're a, we're a growing community. We're behind in our facilities. And this just really helps, as Ms. Wall pointed out, you know, the overcrowding in the western side of our high schools. And this is just really looking forward to it. And, and I think by the time this school opens, we'll be completely out of this COVID-19 crisis. And that'll be exciting. Have a wonderful evening. And I think, Mr. Beavers, with that, I think we can sign off. Is that correct? Yes, we can. Thank all you, right. over. Thank you, thank Mr. Stevens. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a nice evening.